Hey everybody, if you want to check out some of my favorites, hear a little bit of me rambling on and on and on like I usually do about where I've been, just keep watching. I hope my glow charts are doing so well today. And guys, I know I have been gone, it feels like forever, and I missed you guys so much, but I will talk to y'all, tell y'all about what's going on and show you some of my favorites. Now, these are not just favorite favorites. These are not, oh, I think I'll use this today because it's a really good product. No, I'm talking about holy shit, who, what genetically engineered person made these products and where can I get some more? These are products that it was just like a hundred percent immediate satisfaction, immediate amazement of Wow. Oh my God. I cannot believe these products work like this. So of course I don't have but a few. So it's not like a monthly favorites. I don't have 20 different things to show you. These are just products that after the first time using them, it was just instant amazement. Like I wish I was the person that made this. I'd be a millionaire by now. I would be a millionaire. But I do want to say as a disclaimer, some of these products that do work for me, they might not work for you. Uh, you know how this goes. Everybody's got different skin. Products work differently on everybody. These are the products that happen to work amazingly, wonderfully, beautifully on me. I did say that I would tell y'all where I've been. Those of you that's been with me a while, Y'all know usually I'm uploading three, four times a week, you know, and here lately I've just been putting out spoilers. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a couple of weeks ago, my favorite cat died. He passed away. Um, and I'm assuming due to old age. He was six years old, which I don't really think that's that old. But um, I do have Maine Coon cats, and he was a miniature, so he was... He was just a little tiny little baby and he was my favorite and he slept with me every night I mean curled up right beside of me and I still find myself and I hate even I don't I'm one of those people I don't even want to talk about this right now I don't even want to think about it I don't want to talk about it I'm just one of those people that kind of buries it underneath but I, I do want to let y'all know where I've been find myself calling him when it's time to feed my cats and you know you know some people might think I'm nuts because it's just a cat but he was just like a kid to me I mean he was my baby my special little baby Dre and and I love him and I miss him and that's all I'm gonna say about it I'm gonna get off the subject because I'll cause a flood in here and like I said I'm just I don't, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. But I did want to let y'all know where I've been. So, guys, I'm, uh, I'm back. Hopefully, I'm out of this depression stage. If you could tell, I, uh, I went Britney Spears and I cut my hair. I mean, I literally, I couldn't get a knot out of my hair. So, I grabbed the scissors and I just snipped it off. I don't know. I've just been in really weird moods lately, guys, and I just don't know how to explain it. So let's go ahead and jump into these favorites. All right, now the first thing that I'm going to show you is a palette. It is the Tarte Tartius Pro Glow. I don't think, that, do they make different things of these? I'm not sure. Guys, this palette is amazing, and I, and I find myself grabbing this every day. Now, again, these are products that I just cannot believe somebody... Somebody perfect, perfect had to have made these products. I'm telling you, after first use, I've not been disappointed with this, not one time. Now, the next thing is this Benefits Pore Perfecting Professional Whatever Primer. Now, one of my subscribers sent this to me, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. This is absolutely amazing. Now, after first use, again, I could not believe it worked like that. And I don't know what 
indie world I've been missing out on. I don't know why I have never tried it before then, but now that I have, and I do have to get a bigger one, I absolutely love it. And again, thank you to the subscriber that sent that to me. But guys, now the next thing, I got this in my Etsy bag. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Now, I'm not really a big powder freak. Of course, yes, I use powder every time that I use makeup. Of course, I set my foundation with some sort of powder. But I've never been one of those like, oh, this powder is better than this or that, that powder is complete shit. I don't like it. And reason being is because I've never really seen a difference in powders. Really, honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. A powder is a powder to me. But until I got this, I realized, wow. There are powders that are actually pretty good, and they actually do do something, and they actually do something that I kind of notice. Now, this, where it's not being completely matte, it does have a little luminosity to the finish. I just absolutely love it. I mean, it didn't, like, sit in any weird creases. It didn't do any of that, and it was very finely milled, so it's it's like you could blow on the brush and like it is just so finely milled it like dissipates time it hits your face it just goes away and i couldn't believe the finish that it left like i said i've never really seen a difference i thought powder just done powdery things until i got that oh my god the catrice camp wait mm -hmm. Catrice Cosmetics Camouflage Cream Wake Up Effect. Now, I don't know if that is the shade name, Wake Up Effect. I'm not sure if that is the shade name or exactly what that is. But what this is, is it's a cream concealer, but it is kind of like a color corrector because it does have that peachy undertone to it. And I find this to be perfect for color correcting or concealing. It can brighten. Many of you that already know me know that I got a birthmark on my left eye, and it is dark, air. There is a dark spot that's under here and a dark spot that is on my lid. And I have to use an orange or a peach color corrector to make the darkness go away. But I find this, I have used it for color correcting every day since I've had this. And also, I have used it for a concealer a couple of times for the bags up underneath my eyes. And I think it works wonderful for that too. So I love now, I'm going to show you another concealer because I have not heard about it on YouTube and I don't know if it's not working for everybody else and it's just working for me or what. But this is the Ulta Beauty. That's right. Ulta Beauty. Full coverage liquid concealer and it is waterproof and I love this stick to this. I do love the applicator to that. It is like really flat. And it allows me to go ahead and carve out my nose. This concealer blends out beautifully. It brightens. It does everything that it is suppo supposed to do. This is, comes second to my Tarte Shape Tape. Now, it is kind of a thick consistency. And it does dry kind of fast. But I don't find it to be settling in the creases or any of that. So, I love this concealer. And I couldn't believe it when I used it. And again, that is Ulta Beauty not sponsored even though i should be and they don't see little old me so of course they don't sponsor me the next thing is a mascara now i do have my certain mascaras that i like to use i don't wear a lot of falsies so when it comes to the mascara it's really got to do its job it's got to lengthen it's got to build up volume it has got to curl it has got to do it all for me when i'm using a mascara because again the falsies i wear them every once in a while but they're just too much trouble for me so i don't even you know if i could find a good mascara that works that's what I use. And this is the Marc Jacobs. And I know this is kind of high, guys. I know it's Marc Jacobs and everything. But this mascara is awesome. Now, this is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And I don't know if you could see this brush. I mean, it's not shaped like too funny. It don't have too funny of a shape or anything like that. But it does everything that I need it to do. And it is like one of the blackest mascaras that I got. Guys, next thing, it's another primer, but it is a eyelid primer. It's not a face primer. This is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Mine is in light medium. I didn't know that they had different shade ranges of that. But this eyelid primer is just, I love this primer. I, I mean, I just can't say 
enough good stuff about it. I love the applicator, so it applies very easily. Now, it does, again, this, like the concealer, this does dry down fast, so you want to go ahead and get it blended out. And I do just a little bit of my, matter of fact, my tar powder. I dust a little bit of that on top before I apply my shadows, but my shadows go on so beautifully with this. It, you could put this on and then dust a little bit of your powder over it and you could actually take your finger and fill it and it feels so smooth. It feels awesome. It feels like brand new skin and the shadows go over this. They blend so seamlessly. I mean, I just can't believe it when I use this primer. I absolutely love it. And again, all this stuff that I'm showing you is stuff that amazed me after the first use of it. So I do absolutely, I've got to pick up some more of that. I'm just about out. Okay, now the next thing is something from a company that I have never used. Now, these did come in people's BoxyCharms. I did have it sent to me, not from BoxyCharm, but from one of my friends. It is the Pretty Vulgar. This is the Inked Black List Gel Eyeliner. Now, first of all, can we talk about the size of this thing? That, I find, is so awesome. And I wish y'all could see in it, but I doubt my camera is going to pick any of that up. But it is almost all the way full. It at least comes up to the top rim right here. So, it is absolutely packed of product. Now, I will put the price somewhere up here. I'm not sure. I didn't even think to look at the price of it, but this eyeliner is amazing. I mean, it is amazing. You can take a string and put some of this on the string and pop it on your eye and it's the perfect line. Somehow or another, I don't know what it is. I don't care what you use it with. This will make a perfect wing. It is so beautiful. It is it slides on, and I know it's a gel, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do, but this one is amazing. You could just take your brush and dip into this and barely touch it, and it leaves the blackest line, and it stays put all day long. I don't know if this is waterproof. I, I really, it don't say that it is, but I feel like it is, because Again, but considering all the crying that I've been doing lately, and I have worn this a time or two, and it has not ran not one bit. I mean, that that was really amazing. That was really, that was something that surprised me so much about this product that it did not run, especially on days like that. And I have not been wearing a lot of makeup here in the last couple of weeks, but the days that I did have, because there are days I got up and I put my makeup on, I tried to do my video and I, I couldn't get through it so this is the first one going out so hopefully it goes out all right but considering all that that is the best gel eyeliner I have ever used now the next thing is a facial cleanser and one of my friends sent this to me this is the or organies it's either organies or organies facial cleansing oil now, it's ultra hydrating, cleanser, excellent makeup remover, keeps skin balanced and moist, rich in antioxidant olive oil and pro vitamin E. Now, it tells you to apply a handful of the facial cleansing oil to a dry face and gently massage until the makeup and impurities dissolve. Then you wet your hands and continue to lightly massage. Cleanser will transform into a light, milky emulsion emulsion something i'll put it right here rinse well wipe with a wet cloth if desired now first of all i found that i did not need a handful i just needed two or three drops of this in the palm of my hand you know it does not burn eyes because that is the first thing that i tested it on i tried to get off my mascara and my shadows and it, they are pretty heavy looks that i did i mean it took that makeup off like it wasn't shit like it was nothing like uh-uh, no, not today, buddy. You are not staying here. You are going. And I absolutely love it. And I did. I wet my hands a little bit after that. And it does turn in not not really a soapy texture. I'm not going to say it's like a soapy texture. But it's kind of a weird texture. And it's kind of hard to explain. But you know, it's like all the makeup was gone. I mean, of course, I will say 92% of the makeup was gone. Now, of course, I had to go back over my face with a wet cloth a couple more times, but other than that, I mean, it just, 
it treated my makeup like it wasn't shit. Like, you ain't got shit on me. And for something that could break down makeup like that and leave my face so silky smooth like this done is a winner in my book. And I will continue to use this as long as I can. I've had this. I will say about a week now and I mean I haven't even put a dent in it. I don't know why it says that you need a handful of this because I just needed a couple of drops so I did. I absolutely love this stuff. All right, so that is it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it. I went in a lot of them because it's not like a normal favorites. These are products that amaze me after first use and I just had to let everybody know. So if they don't work for you don't take offense to it because like I said everybody's skin is different so products are going to work different on everybody and i am putting out a lot of spoiler videos so make sure that you got the notification bell on for those don't miss any spoilers of course if you're like me i hate waiting to find out what i'm getting so i like to go ahead and see spoilers of course if you don't like seeing spoilers you're on the wrong channel basically but you can always come and see these videos where I do actually get on camera. And hopefully I'll have y'all another video out with me on it sometime in the next week. And I just missed you guys. And I just had to go through that little period where just uh, a deep, dark depression. So, so hopefully I'm done with that. Well, probably not completely done. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and become part of my glow tarp family we would love to have you and i love you guys so so much and i will see you next video bye guys hey there guys who was instantaneously and blah 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 you know how they snipped it off nine percent or use and i just had to live edit let every know everybody's gonna oh shit fuck it that star is like the brightest and the only star that i see tonight and i hope that is my little dre looking down at me it's it's absolutely beautiful